Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the TBS Source 2 version 0.1 frame. In this video I'm going to quickly assemble it, go over its features and compare it with the TBS Source 1 version 0.2 frame. Just like the Source 1, the Source 2 is an open source frame so it was designed by the community, for the community and you can find all the relevant project files in the project's GitHub page. In addition, it is very budget friendly and costs only $25. Inside the bag, you can find four replaceable arms. The thickness is four millimeters. The bottom and top plate. The thickness of the bottom plate is 2.8 millimeters. And the thickness of the top plate is two millimeters. Next, you can find a battery rubber pad. The screws, bolts, and spacers needed. These two parts for securing the arms. And finally, these rubber parts for mounting an FPV camera. Now I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and I will see you in a bit in order to go over the results. Now the Source 2 is assembled and here you can see how it looks next to the Source 1. The big difference between the frames is that the Source 1 is intended for freestyle, whereas the Source 2 is intended for racing. The Source 2 weighs only 72.6 grams, so it is extremely light and much lighter than the Source 1, which weighs 133.9 grams. In addition, unlike the Source 1, which is using a true X pattern, the Source 2 is using a stretched X design. The wheelbase of the frame is about 23.5 cm and the distance between the back motors to the front ones is about 17 cm and the distance between the right motors and the left ones is about 14 cm. The width of the arms is about 10 mm comparing to the Source 2 which is using much wider arms and the width is about 14.7 mm. Just like the Source 1, on the Source 2 you can find both 20x20 20 20 and 30x30 30 30 mountain holes, which is great. And finally, on the front, I have already placed these two rubber pieces in order to secure a micro FED camera. So you can see it's going to be mounted in this manner. And if you'd like, of course, you can use 3D printed TPU parts. And then you will be able to use bigger FED cameras. So overall, considering its price, I think that the TBS Source 2 looks like a pretty good option if you're in the market for a new racing frame. Its quality is not as good as the Transtech Laser S frame, which I've recently reviewed, but you have to remember that this frame costs over $70 and the TBS Source 2 costs only $25. In addition, one of the advantages of getting this frame is that it is open sourced and supported by the community, so you'll be able to find plenty of 3D printed parts so, for example, I recommend instead of using these rubber parts to use a 3D printed TPU part, which is also going to add some protection to your camera. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the TBS Source 2, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.